thousands of kilometers from Altai Mountains to Caspian Sea spreads our motherland, Kazakhstan. Adapting to living in miscellaneous landscapes, the ancestors of Kazakhs had been creating unique culture, mythology and art closely related to the motherland nature. Kazakhs had invested particularly beautiful places with sacred power and rarely protected them. Every Kazakh tribe had been creating songs, tales and legends about such places that taught love and respect for the ancestors' land. That were the primal forms of ecological education. Each episode of the program, our constantly operating tele expedition in the Legend Hunters, will take you to the most legendary places of our country. Along with our film crew, you will visit the most wild and reserved corners of Kazakhstan, learn the secrets of the wild nature, get to know the ancient legends, and also get a foretaste of touristic Kazakhstan's modern capabilities. The nature of East Kazakhstan region is abounding and diverse. Not only do the borders of Kazakhstan, China, Russia and Mongolia, but also the various landscape zones of Eurasian continent converge here. This is the place where boundless plains and mountain chains of Central Asia encounter with the Siberian taiga. Biological diversity is notably flourishing at this joint of the zoo-geographical provinces. Saur Massif encloses Zaisan Hollow to the south. It is bordered by Tarbagatai mountain range to the west and Black Irtysh to the east, which is the starting point of Altai Ridge belonging to South Siberia. Mustao is the highest peak, three and a half thousand meters. This is the center of Saul Ridge's present-day glacierization. The total area of glaciers in Saul is 17 square kilometers. There is a wonderful legend connected with Mustao Mountain. It is about 40 batirs. Once upon a time, when Tsin Empire's military troop invaded Chilikti Valley and local notables banded to the conquerors, an ordinary shepherd from Saur Mountains stirred up a rebellion. He gathered 40 temerarious jigits and formed a squad, which attacked the invaders' forces. The legend says, their secret base was located somewhere on the slopes of that ridge. No matter how many punitive forces had been sent to Mustao Mountain, none of them came back. Great legend! Unique biogeosynosis having common features with both Tanshan and Altai Mountains had been formed here. The rarest and valuable species of Saur Mountains is wild sheep Argali. Since the ancient time, Argali have been holding a prominent place in mythology, symbolics and figurative art of the Central Asian people. And it is not a coincidence. Because Argali are the ancestors of the domestic sheep that play the key role in the economics of the nomadic civilizations. Sheep produced food, clothes and even dwelling for people. Argali horns have been considered to be the symbol of military power and wealth. They had been placed on special standards before every camping ground. In Central Asia, Alexander the Great was also known as Iskander by Cornus, for his helmet was decorated with argali horns. Wild animals enumeration is a very important part of efficient wild nature resources management. 
Every year, in spring and fall, scientists, along with game husbandry experts, set off to the mountains in order to determine the number and density of the wild animal's population. Special attention is paid to the argali. Professor of the Zoology Department of Ust-Kaminogorsk State University Konstantin Prokopov and the inspectors of Zaysan Game Husbandry Sharipkhan Kaisin and Murat Sirkinbayev enumerate the ungulates of Bulonbay area by inspecting the roots. We plan to gather the information about ecology, geographical and habitat dispersal, as well as the main features of argali behavior during the mating season. The territory of East Kazakhstan region is habituated with Altai and Central Kazakhstan argali. Tarbakatai Saul geographical group of argali is of special interest. Some researchers believe that this population has already gained the subspecific status, although it is still a disputable matter. According to the Wild Animals Cadaster of the Republic of Kazakhstan, for the time being there are five subspecies of Argali that inhabit the territory of Kazakhstan. Central Kazakhstan, Tianshan, Hungarian, Karatau, Altai, and the species of Mouflon, Transcaspian Ural. The expedition sets off from the base camp at the dawn. The group reached the plateau by the noon. Elevation is 2,400 meters. Some gray spots are swiftly moving on the slopes. All that are Ulars, mountain turkeys. In ancient times, Kazakhs believed that Ulars meat possesses charm-like medical properties. The legend has it that during plague epidemic, an old hunter could not find an Ular to save his tribesmen, no matter how hard he tried. Then the old man sacrificed his body. According to the medieval ideas, the body of a person who ate Ular also possessed medical properties. Of course, that's just a legend. Nowadays, annihilation of Ulars for fabulous sanitive effect is a silly and harmful superstition. The slope is full of fresh tracks. Undoubtedly, these are Argali's tracks. In this old burial ground, we see the remains of an Argali eaten by the wolves. In Baituma area, we found the remains of a huge Argali. By all appearances, the wolves must have eaten it last year. These are the remains of its skeleton. Such a huge ram. Many people think that Baituma is a female name, but in fact this area had been named after a man. His name was Baitumat. He distinguished himself by living a righteous life. He was a wise and honorable man, and he even settled the disputes between the locals. After his death, he had been buried here. This area had been named by Tumat. Later, the last letter had been dropped, so it became by Tuma. But for many years, this area belongs to Argolis. Now we'll try to capture them on tape. The group follows the animal tracks. The tracks are just fresh, but the humans are not able to keep up with the fleet-foot argolis in Highland. 
And finally we see an amazing view. A group of upstanding graceful animals are grazing on the snowy slope. These are the rarest representatives of our fauna, the mysterious Saur Argolis. The group consists of seven youths, two young rams and an adult handsome with great horns. His mighty horns and splendid white color on the chest are the signs of chivalry. He is a sole master of his harem. He hardly even eats, because he does not have time for such trifles. He warily keeps his eye on his use. Reproduction of Kazakhstani argali, Saur argali in peculiar, has its own distinctive features. In central Kazakhstan, 25% of ewes bring forth two lambs, while in Saur Alpine population, only 20% of ewes give birth to twins. The reason is that in Alpine harsh conditions, ewes need a lot more milk to bring up the offspring. But suddenly we see a little silhouette on the horizon. It rapidly approaches and turns into a huge horned argali. The ram in love runs to the herd uphill and down dale. Strong instinct of procreation makes him forget about caution for a while. He sees only the flock of ewes before him and passes right by the researcher's group without even noticing them. Take note of the form of this Argali's horns. The stranger noticeably differs from the master of Harim. Curves of his horns are characteristic for Altai population of the Argali. Does this mean that there is a connection between Altai and Saur groups of Argali? Maybe some certain individuals passed from Altai to Saur along frozen Irtish. One of the Argolis horns quickened Professor's interest. Horn size certainly plays a prominent role in Argolis sexual behavior and social structure of the herd. Rams having bigger horns hold dominant position and have more chances to pass their genes to the future generations. And the form of the horns lets scientists tell one subspecies of the mountain sheep from the other. The rams start dueling in due form of a real tournament. They are saluting each other by lifting left legs as if they were throwing down a gauge. And then they withdraw from each other, run up and race to their back legs. Big horn bash sound resounds over the ravine. They seem to be carried away by their fight rather than by the use. The females resentfully follow them with their eyes and slowly go up the slope. Four young rams run to them. Two herds are mixed and the tag game begins. Slowly moving up the slope, they disappear behind the pass. November days in mountains are short. Sun swiftly moves down toward the horizon and the shadows of larches stretch along the ravines. It is time for the researchers' group to come back to the camp. They succeeded in slightly touching the mystery of Saur Argali, which the steep slopes of Saur mountains hide from the human world. The researchers plan to come back here in spring, when a new generation of the elegant, upstanding animals will be born in the wild Saur mountains. It is our duty to preserve this mystery. Living in eastern Kazakhstan, our expedition was quite sure that there are more mysteries in this blessed land yet to be discovered.